hello everyone welcome back to the another new tutorial and in this one i'm going to show you how you can combine your beauty layers and your light passes together to have a more control over it so for example you can see i have uh, this car render here and for that car render i have a light passes here this is basically a backdrop for the light passes if i show you the all the lights you can see there is these lights and when you combine all those lights together you are getting uh, your beauty render if i disable the grids now if i compare from here to here you can see it's one to one match so this is a uh, light passes and i graded according to the shot here we have this uh, beauty the diffuse and diffuse direct diffuse indirect and specular specular direct indirect and we are combining them together so i will show you how you can uh, combine these two together so in the end when we do correction in the light it will affect the light and if i do a correction in the beauty it will affect also and if i want to change the color this is the diffuse color i can add a grade here and i can change the color for the entire car or i can change the color for the specific part of this car like this you can see now i'm changing the color only uh, with this diffuse color so it's changing the color and when we combine you can see this result so uh, let's do this from scratch and i will show you how i did this so the main part of this tutorial is like uh, this is a blender render the idea is very simple to combine the light passes and beauty passes together but uh, this is a blender uh, render there are some issues uh, with the unpremulled and premulled so i solve this in this comp i will also show you that how i solve that issue so for that let's i'm just taking this top part because i don't want to shuffle out this again and again i will put it here and let's shade a rebuild this beauty layer first so you can see i have this diffuse color diffuse direct diffuse indirect and glossy color glossy direct indirect and i have this emission so the first thing we need to uh, merge with the plus operation is the diffuse direct and indirect all right so let's do that first let's do the plus here now we have this we need to multiply this on our diffuse color I already talk about this many times in my tutorial but I will show you here uh, as a whole process let's do that I will do the multiply now we have this and make sure you do uh, unpremulled all and then you can uh, build your CG passes okay like that now we have this the same thing we have to do for the glossy direct glossy indirect and glossy color so I'm just copy pasting this plus and doing the same thing here also plus and then multiply with the color so this is a glossy color like that this is a glossy color direct and indirect and multiply now i can plus this here at the end we have to plus every pass together plus and the emission you can directly just plus there is no uh, in between operation we have to do can just plus like that uh, let's remold this one let's uh, copy this at here and then we will compare let's do the pre-mold at the end and now let's compare with the beauty okay you can see uh, I did a pre-mold here and if I compare with the beauty it's not matching not only the pre mult only you can see we can have uh, extra edges here and this transparency we are having some issues in the transparency also let's merge this on, on a pg and then i will show you what is the issue so this issue is specifically for the blender render you do a uh, unpre here and do uh, all the passage shuffling and do and, and then you do a uh, pre uh, it will match uh, with your beauty but this is a blender uh, it's little tricky to do now you can see this is look like this and it is here look like this so it's not the same first of all we have some page issue i don't know so technically we have to do unpre uh, at the top and then we can you know plus all those passes with unpre and uh, we are actually doing a multiply i don't know that's why the issues we are facing but we have to do a multiply here with the color operation then only we can see the uh, like if i do a multiply then this is the overall specular pass if i do a multiply with the diffuse color then this is the proper diffuse color but you can see this is uh, not a good edge this is unpremolded but this is not a proper unpremolded i guess 
so now we have this and it's not matching and because we have this transparent glass we are facing a lot of issues in the transparency also to fix that i found that issue we have to only unpremult this direct and indirect pass you don't need to unpremult diffuse so by default if we are doing a unpremult all so all those layers get unpremult you can see like that and then uh, what we are doing we are just plusing them together and then we are doing a multiply right so the solution i found so we have to only do a unpremult uh, diffuse color and glossy color only on pre-melting this diffuse color and a glossy color all other passes are pre-melted you can see they are pre-melted but when we do a plus and when you do a multiply we have this okay if i do like this you can see it's on pre-melted and same thing here if i do a plus uh, with the diffuse direct and indirect and then if i do multiply it is on pre-melt okay this is the one way and if i view from here now i think it is it should match so you can see it's not matching so what we can do we can do a uh, other way around we can do a uh, unpremal diffuse direct and diffuse indirect not the color okay the same thing we will do a uh, glossy direct glossy indirect we are ignoring the color passes like that now i think it is matching let's see yeah so i think it is matching let me just compare with that so this is diffuse color and this is this yeah i think we can use this one i think the issue oh the change that we are seeing is because uh, this is the original path and we are using this you can see this is not exactly matching with the beauty and the reason is this beauty layer and the passes are different in sample i mean the sample is the passes is denoise and this beauty render is not a denoise render i guess you can see the the passes and this thing is not the same and disable this thing also the in the inside area not matching at all so that means there is some uh, render issue so if i do a uh, minus operation here the different operation just to show you the point and crank up so you can see so this is the difference and this difference is like this is a denoise difference you can see the splotchiness how this is uh, looking so this is a denoise issue so this render is denoise from blender so that's why we are seeing that you know little different but the overall this is the idea you can use you can just you know unpremult the two color channel or you can just unpremult the direct and indirect pass if i unpremult all then it's not matching at all so that is the issue in the blender and i think now it's matching yeah you can see it's matching with the beauty i'm just i'm just directly merging with the beauty and it's looking same so that means we did a proper uh, cg rebuild so what i will do i will just copy paste the color one so in the color one we're not facing any issue like this we uh, we can just directly merge this together uh, with plus operation because these are all the light passes and we are doing unpremolt on and unpremolt on the top and then we are just plusing here one by one now uh, let's copy this also let's copy and premolt let's add this one here also so now we have they both in the same page so they both now matching with the beauty you can see this is also matching and this is also somewhat matching i'm not sure see the light passage is looking different than this one so let's uh let's see this is matching and let's merge them together to merge them let's copy paste this beauty layer and can just use our one merge and you can do a divide on our shader pass so let's do a divide operation let's switch this pipe make sure this uh, beauty layer is a b and this is your a and then we can just multiply our light pass directly on our shader pass so this is a shader rebuilt this is a shader rebuilt this is a light rebuild and we are merging them together with the multiply and make sure while you are doing you need to also uh, check the alpha okay so make sure the alpha need to be same so you can see from here to here the alpha is same 
now you can merge this with the background okay so when we merge uh, then we can see now we uh, successfully merge those passes together so now you can see this is pre -mult and this is this if I do unpremult here then I can do a pre at the end here but the result will be the same so I don't think we need to do that here the pre is here is okay all right and then you can have that now we properly you know merge those light passes together i don't know uh, this why we are having this you know issue here if i don't do the unpremulting it is still showing me the same yeah see so now i don't have anything here i'm just pre-melting and if i do like this still so still you can see it's not matching so there is some issue i don't know now uh, i disable the unpremult so everything is premult okay and it is not matching so if i do uh, let's do unpremult all and then still is not matching so the issue i don't know what is the issue but there is issue with the blender there is this is the trick we need to uh, do it otherwise you will see that issue again and again so uh, what you can do you can just you know unpremult uh, these two channels together or uh, in the above what i did i will show you in the above you can see i only did uh, unpremult all and if i do the unpremult all let's do that so if i do unpremult all now uh, this is the uh, doing unpremult all the channels now uh, here in the two backdrop they both doing unpremult all and once we premult here this will not gonna match with the beauty obviously for some reason you can see okay but when we combine the lights together then only it will match with the beauty so uh, now i did unpremult all and uh, at the end i need to do a premult now if i view from here and if i compare with the beauty render this is uh, still i think it's not matching yeah it, it, it is matching now you can see now now it is matching one to one okay uh, so if you are still facing that issue what you can do in the every pass you need to uncheck this one the alpha in that output so it will use uh, whatever the alpha is coming from the a side or b side and here also we can just uncheck so we have a uh, original alpha you can see now and then you can do a pre mult and i think then only it will work i guess yeah you can see now now it is properly matching all the edges but if i just uh, directly you know do a shader with the, with the unpremulted path and then if i do a premult at the end then if i compare if i do unpremult all also it will not gonna match so once i combine the light passes and do a premult then only it will gonna match here uh, that's why i did here the unpremult all but if you just want to match the beauty layer then you need to unpremult the shade unpremult the color and the glossy and once you combine with the shader only then it will match with your beauty layer you can see i'm directly merging with the beauty and it is matching one to one all right if i compare if i add this one here if i add with the light passes too then it will not gonna match because the light passes i already did uh, unpremat all let's remove this one here and i think it will match again again yeah see now it is matching here so there are you know differences here so if I do a pre-mult, if I disable the pre-mult and if I only do a unpre-mult the diffuse color and the glossy then uh, here also is matching and when we combine here also is matching with the beauty you can see but if I do a unpre-mult all then it will not gonna match here with the beauty you can see okay but here it will match if I do a pre-mult here with the light okay so there are you know some issues with this one so what i will do i will use this uh, what you call this uh, unpremult all method because uh, i'm combining the light path and this thing together but i think uh, we can use uh, this one because we actually need to match the beauty uh, shader rebuild so now this is matching with the beauty now you can see all right and then we are adding the light path on top so for the light passage we don't need to do a pre-mult then i think it will match one to one with the beauty and here also it will match okay 
quick it's unpremulled but it is matching so that is exactly the uh, same the same thing happen with this one okay when we do uh, only when you do unpremulled all but i want you know shader passes uh, need to match with the beauty now it's matching with the beauty and in here also when you do uh, uh, divide and multiply and when you do a doing a premult so make sure you when you do a premult what you can do you can just copy paste you can copy node and this one or what else you can do we are already doing a premult here and you can do a divide and in the divide it is on to so make sure you uh, remove the alpha from it and it's the same thing in the multiply also you can see so now we you, you can maintain the original alpha and then you can do a premult at the end and that's how you can you know combine the light passes and beauty layer uh, in nuke with the blender render so uh, this is more uh, this is little, little complicated you know to combine and you know the the unpremult and premult issue with the blender render so with the other render like Houdini, maya or any other software you just need to do uh, unpremult here and it will work in the light passes is working you can see we combine it and it's looking same if i compare with the unpremult you can see it's looking the same but i'm not sure of how, what happened to this you can use this one or you can use uh, to you can you can unpremult all here it's up to you but if you have a blender render this is how you can you know, fix that and you can just you know add this shadow pass so there is a blender can give you this uh, shadow pass too this is the shadow catcher and i just you know fill that empty area with the roto and you can just you know multiply with this one so benefit of doing it because this shadow have a light the shadow also have a color you can see if i expose up you can see you can have a color i reduce the opacity but you can see this is the color we have so when you do a comb you will you can see that so in this case i think we can pull a value one now you can see the shadow color also like that so this is the default render and this is uh, i try to match with the actual render let me just turn on the grading here So uh, this is the raw render. This is I try to match with the you know environment a little bit. I think I can increase a little bit of you know environment light like that. So I can boost the environment light also. So this is a benefit. I combine them together. Yeah, this is uh, I can boost a little bit more. So uh, yeah, like that. You can do a lot of things here when you combine your light passes and beauty uh, beauty passes together. So uh, this is the tutorial. I hope you can understand it a bit more. And uh, let me know in the comment what you think. And uh, we will see you in our very next one. Thank you for watching.